Newcastle's win over Leicester on Friday had given Gloucester fresh hope of a top four finish. Wins in their final two games were an absolute must though, starting with fierce rivals Bath at King's home. But it was the visitors looking for their first win in five who were fastest out the blocks. Hooker Reese Dunn on the end of some good face play to power his way over. Reese Priestland converted and the Welshman was in the thick of the action once again soon after. His initial pass put Francois Lowe through before receiving the return pass and forcing his way over the line. A Billy Twelve Trees penalty was all the host had to show for the lion's share of possession and soon after a third trip into enemy territory for Bath resulted in a third try. A neat interception and offload from Charlie Yules saw Alid Brew sprint in from halfway. Former Tigers man and Cherry and White's captain Ed Slater responded for his side by crashing over ten minutes before the break. However, just three minutes later, and Bath were at it again from long range. Tom Homer spotting a gap in the defence and sprinting through for one of the tries of the season. A relentless Ben Morgan carrying performance was typified by his contribution to Gloucester's next try. The ball eventually finding Jason Woodward via a brilliant Ben Velikot pass. The conversion brought the hosts to within nine, but Bath again stretched their lead. This time through substitute Cooper Vuna, who showed all his strength to power over in the corner. Gloucester were forced to chase the game, and after 12 trees, his loose pass found the grateful arms of James Wilson. The game was well and truly over. A stunning result from King's home. Bath victorious by 43 points to 20.